Welcome to Rick from Food Soul. I am Christine. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am just doing a quick little check-in for the weekend of July 4th. We are um, moving through some pretty heavy energy, not only in the cosmos, but we are moving through a new transition here on the earthly plane where we are finally making our way out of this pandemic. And what I'm noticing across the board is people are not who they were when we first moved into this pandemic. Most of us were secluded at home with our solitude and did a lot of inner healing, a lot of inner work, a lot of that inner reflection of, you know, the hard stuff. Where are you messing up? Where are you, you know, flawed? And where can you be a better human? It's not as easy as it looks. And I feel like June was like the final like pressure cooker for a lot of people. If you hadn't been doing the work all year long, June was the, you know, the final send off if you will, to kind of, you know, look under every stone, check in with every emotion, cut any final cords that, you know, are no longer serving you kind of thing. And it was heavy. It was hard. June, I kind of, um, I checked out. I, I had, you know, we're all human, right? I've been hoarding these mother wounds of mine for like 36 years. So I turned the notifications off on my phone. I kind of disappeared from social media and I dove into that healing. And every day I did work on it because it 36 years of the mother wound, it was heavy. It was really heavy. It was ugly crying and it was being, you know, <laughs> fully engulfed in my rage. And, you know, and then at the end of it, I did find that amazing grace it was so amazing it was I can't even really describe it it was so amazing but that now we are at a phase of we're transitioning into excuse me a normal life again now that we've done all that healing we've done all that inner reflection you don't go back to your old life this is new territory for you you know you have a fresh new mindset you are so clear on your wants and your don't wants what are you gonna do with that it's really hard some of us we know exactly what's gonna happen next but for some of us we've never been in this situation before we don't know what it looks like we've never had this much space to fill up and it's and it's an amazing place to be honestly it's truly beautiful it's you know maybe a little fearful but, um, cause it's unknown, but I invite you to find some curiosity in that. So I want to do a quick little card pull just for the collective and then anchor it all in with some Reiki to help kind of just support you on this new adventure that we are all going to go on. And, um, hopefully, you know, bring in some of that curiosity and ease your, your stresses just a little bit. I'm gonna use, um, I was gonna use my, my deck, but I don't, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go with these guys today. Um, just a quick one card pull. I will, for, I'll do the elements. I'm not gonna just do one, I'll do the elements. Real quick though. The first one, let's do, fire. We'll do fire. Ha! Perfect. Knight of Wands. This is for um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you guys are headed to some um, new territory regarding your passions. Pretty swiftly, you know, the Knight of Wands is a fast-moving energy it could be this could be you or it could be another aries leo or sagittarius coming into your life bringing in offering you something um that you're very passionate about 
but I honestly, I think this is you. I think this is you kind of stepping into your power once and for all and stepping into your emotions. You know, you guys, fire signs are very passionate and at moving forward in life and day-to-day -day tasks and their relationships. But um, the emotion, on the emotional level, because you are such a fiery sign, emotions are your water is kind of your opposite. Your emotions are really hard for you to own and and take hold of. And I feel like maybe this is you. This is really you anchoring into your emotions and like owning it. Like today I'm pissed off. Today I'm sad. Today I'm happy. I'm, and you're really you're really owning it. So good for you. Good for you guys. It's it's not an easy place for you to be. Um, and I will also say, um, allow yourself to receive help. Allow the helpers to come on. You're very, um, kind of like a one man show almost my, my fire signs. And if that gets heavy doing it alone, you guys can do it. It gets heavy though. Um, allow helpers to come in. A lot of people to come in because they want to help. You guys have an abundance of people who are standing by, ready to offer you support. So, um, yeah, hopefully that will help for my fire signs. Um, get ready for this uh, new ride of walking in your power. Okay, cool. Um, let me toss that back in the deck. Um, let's do water signs next. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What do you guys need to know for this weekend, moving into July, and kind of figuring out, you know, where to go from here? My water signs have been busy healing, doing a lot of inner work, tossing out things that don't, you know, that don't serve them anymore, and cutting old cords of, you know, people who had done me wrong. <clears throat> What do my water signs need to know? Oh, I almost, I instantly, I started crying. I wanted to cry. Oh, for my water signs. Kudos to you and for all the work that you've been doing. And you can really just float into this new life and just allow the abundance to trickle down for, you know, all of you, all of you, you've all put in the work. This is you finally moving with grace and ease and freedom throughout your life. I mean, at least the coming up next few weeks, it's literally, it's you just floating through life and just going, yes, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that financial abundance. I'm going to take that unconditional love and it just flows to you naturally. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Gosh, I'm so happy for my water signs because you've worked so hard. I've been seeing it. You've been working so hard. Kudos to you and kudos to you for, for building that connection with source and really allowing it to take up space to move through you and you know your life choices. Um, being on this earth can be extremely heavy and you can kind of get lost in the day-to-day -day tasks. And with this, this is you really kind of breathing into that higher power and letting it, you know, letting it play a role in everything you do, even the, the little things, you know deciding to take that long drive home down the back roads you know it really it soothes your soul god this is such a beautiful card for you guys my water signs i love it amazing amazing you deserve it okay next um did fire water let's do air gemini libra and aquarius what are we moving through what do we need to bring awareness to for just, you know, this coming up weekend and then a few weeks of July? Three of Wands. We 
we've done the work, we've sent out the letters, we know exactly what we want, and we're waiting. Now we wait. The ship is, you know, we can see it in the distance. It is all coming to us. It, we have no doubt. We have no doubt. Everything we're passionate about, the career, the financial abundance, the unconditional love, the supportive tribe, you know, that spiritual connection, it is all on its way. Because we have also, the air signs have also done the work and now we get to just pause and wait for it to flow to us. This is a pretty good spot to be. It can be uncomfortable for some people because I don't, like myself, I, I you know, I want it now, I want it now, I want it now. But this is, you know, this is not the time to have it now. This is the time to really enjoy that pause. No to-do list, no obligations. It's beautiful. Enjoy this pause because things are going to get very busy for you very fast. Because the ship is right there. It is right there. It's right around the corner. Enjoy your pause. Air signs are constantly busy. They're constantly like, even when they have nothing to do, they will create something. You know, they'll go get a puppy or, you know, or offer to babysit. They're always busy. They're always filling up that void with something. Don't fill up that void. Dive into that void. Sleep in, you know, be lazy. Um, really enjoy it for what it is because your life is about to get super busy here very, very soon. Okay? And next, I did fire. I've got earth next. Earth. Well, now I'm forgetting. That was water signs. I'm going to do earth. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. My other busy signs. What do we need to know? Page of Pentacles. So this is you moving forward with your material gains, the things that are tangible on this planet. You are, oh, and the peacock is all about self-love too. So finding worthy, uh, finding yourself worthy of actually having these material gains you know, having the reliable car, the financial abundance, the career, the, you know, the earthly things, you know, space to spread your wings and space to put in roots for your family and for your friends. This is, it's all coming to you because you're working so hard. My other, my earth signs are also, they're so, they work so hard. Um, and you know how to manifest it. You know how to kind of carve out your own little t time and just place it on you know your vision board or whatever it is and it, it, it immediately just comes to you in small little ways but it immediately comes to you so this is you you're not you know you haven't hit the mother load yet but this is definitely you enjoying these tangible earthly items um maybe buying yourself something nice or buying something for your family members or something close to you um, and this could even be somebody coming in, another earth sign, coming in to offer you support or, you know, giving you a loan, something like that, something tangible, which is uh, pretty great. So enjoy it. Enjoy this financial freedom that's coming in, whatever you're needing, you know, um, it's coming in for you. So that was... That was it. That's all my element signs. So I want to, I want, I want to anchor all of this in, and I want to help bring in light to those empty spaces that you now have created after all that massive inner work that you've done. Um, Breathe 
into those empty spaces now. Breathe into them and what feels right. What, when you're thinking about what you're gonna fill it up with, what feels right to you? Possibilities are absolutely endless. They're absolutely endless. And there's plenty of abundance to go around. <clears throat> the universe has magical ways of bringing in your abundance for you. Very creative ways. this feeling of the unknown. It's almost like the fool card. You don't know what's going to happen, but you are blindly going to jump off that cliff with just a few things on your back. You are moving forward with a full heart, full intentions, full awareness. I love it. I love it. And, and a full awareness of, you know, not knowing what's going to happen. Full awareness of you could meet, you know, your full potential and have all of your dreams come and just be delivered to you on your doorstep. You don't know. You could also, with that full awareness, meet the, you know, the darkest side of you that you've never known before, you've never discovered before. And that in itself, it is beautiful. It is beautiful to have that awareness about your own soul, you know, that shadow piece of you. power people actually have right now in this moment really try and just simmer that fear and move into curiosity you absolutely can tall and strong and confident whatever you move forward with today or tomorrow throughout the month of July do it with conviction do it with purpose I can't tell you how amazing I did a video yesterday and I did it in my house at the uh, my, my kitchen table where I do my um, Monday manifestations and it didn't feel right the energy didn't feel right and I haven't been in my studio for quite a few months I think and I gotta say I love this space I love this energy I love sitting down and really anchoring into my soul and becoming curious and you know my kitchen table is awesome and I love that it's very light and very like you know grab a cup of tea and sit down and have a chat with me but in my studio this is where I really get to dive into the nitty-gritty dirty stuff and I love it I love it because that dirty stuff that ugly stuff that raw emotion stuff is really it's it's you it is me we are 
are all a part of it. It's not all shiny rainbows and puppies and kittens all day long. It's not. And I think we all learn that over the course of this year. So um, this is just to help you kind of move out of the pandemic, move into your normal life again. Well, not even your normal life, just, you know, daily tasks of running to the store without having to glove up and mask up and bubble up and whatever you want to call it, you know, and, and going out to movies again and seeing your loved ones again. Um, this is such an amazing time. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Um, I will see you on the next one. I have a lot more videos coming out. If you haven't done it yet, hit subscribe. I've got some good ones that are coming out. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.